<laughs> Is anyone there? <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. I thought you were following me. Ah, you caught me. You're not very good at being sneaky. I am very sneaky. I'll show you by taking James's tender. <coughs> See, I am sneaky. It's easy to take a tender. Watch this. Hi, Billy. See, I have Henry's tender. How about a challenge? Whoever can get the most tenders without being caught wins. OK, let's do it. I've got Bertrand's tender. I feel a lighter. Oh well. Have Lorenzo's tender. Let's get some more. Don't worry, Emily, I can help you. Your tender is on the track. Was that Thomas? I've got another tender. Rascal Funding, please can you help? I need you to distract Spencer while I grab the tender. Yeah, I can help. Thanks. <laughs> I have an idea. Spencer, do you want to see a magic trick? Yeah, definitely. OK, watch me make this burger disappear. Ta-da! That's not a magic trick. You just ate the burger. That doesn't count. I'm leaving. I think it worked. Thanks. Now I have three tenders. I'm going to get more. Think you have enough? No, I need to get more than Thomas. Hmm, maybe I should stop them. This should make the train slip and crash. <laughs> what was that? Thanks, Cranky. No problem. your help. Trying to take more tenders? No, we need to stop Connor and Thomas. They're taking too many tenders. 
But how do we stop them? I think we need another tender. This tender should bring both Thomas and Carney here. Then we can surprise them. Let's hide. This is my tender. No, it's mine. Give it here. No, it's mine. What was that? What are you two doing? None of the other trains can do their jobs as you have taken all their tenders. You need to give back their tenders and complete all the jobs they couldn't do. Yes, Sir Top of Hat. We're really sorry. Good. I'm the only one who takes tenders. <laughs> I think our tender challenge got out of hand. Yeah, but we both proved we can be very sneaky. Gather round, gather round. I have something to show you. This is a, um, uh, a really good bean. It'll grow into a, um, an amazing plant. So, who wants to buy it? That sounds terrible. Goodbye. No, no, no. Wait, come back. It's a really good plant. Sorry, Funling. I guess nobody wants to buy your bean. But it's a magic bean made by Wizard Funling. When it grows, it makes gold. Really? That's amazing. You didn't sell it very well. Are you good at selling things? Of course. I can be very persuasive. That sounds like a challenge. I challenge you to get the best object from just swapping. But you have to start with this rock. OK, you're on. Hello Rascal Funling, what's the matter? Billy had a party where he invited everyone who wears orange, but he forgot about me! I want to prank him to get revenge! I have an idea, you could use this rock to make Billy crash. That's an excellent idea Thomas! Here he comes! for not inviting me to your party! I did! You just said you were busy! Oh! Well, never mind! Here, take this Thomas as thanks for the prank! Thanks, Rascal Funling! Hi, Hulk! I have something here that will make you better in the cars competitions! I haven't won a tournament in a while. What do you want for it? Whatever you have. Well, I have... This mirror? Yeah, that's good. Thanks, Hulk. Super funding! Use this mirror! Excellent idea! <laughs> Thanks for helping me, Thomas! Have this colour-changing coal as a reward! Thanks! Let's see who wants this coal! So, Thomas, how are you doing? Well, after I got the colour changing coal, I swapped that with Bertram for his cooking equipment. I then traded that with Chef Funling for a giant burger. 
Traded that with a dinosaur for a giant egg. Traded the egg to this funling. The funling will help clean anywhere for the day. But that's not worth anything. Hey! You need to have an item with value. Fine, I'll find something that is worth a lot. Hello, King Funling. What's the matter? Well, Green Funling is mad with me because I went inside the palace with muddy shoes, getting mud everywhere. I need to clean it up. Well, you're in luck. This Funling will help clean for the entire day. Oh, really? That would be great. Here, have this crown as a thank you. Thank you, King Funling. I started the day with a rock, and now I have a gold crown. Wow, that's very impressive, Thomas. You know, if you traded that gold crown for this magic bean, then grow the bean, you would earn the gold back quickly and make even more gold. That's a good idea. Here, I'll buy the magic bean off you. <laughs> you fell for it. This isn't a magic bean. It's just a potato. And now I have your crown. <laughs> oh, that funling tricked me. Well, at least you only lost a rock. Yeah, you're right. I still proved that I can be a very persuasive train. <laughs> Hello and welcome to today's strongest engine competition. We'll have three rounds and whichever team wins the most rounds will be today's strongest engines. So let's meet the teams. We have Mia, Thomas and Percy on that team and Percy, Thomas and Mia on that team. Wait, why are there two of each of them? They're the same teams. Yeah, it's confusing. But if you look closely, you'll see that on this team, they're all Thomas and Friends engines. Whereas on this team, they're all Engines Go engines. Oh yeah, so it's like Thomas and Friends versus All Engines Go. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and we'll need a judge for today's competition. And as we're standing outside King Funling's palace, our judge today is... King Ghost! What? Huh? Oh, I was thinking King Funling, but uh, heh, you'll do. Okay, so what's our first round? Hill push. In this round, whoever can push the most trucks up this hill in one go wins. It's all engines go near versus Thomas and friends near. They'll try to push one truck to begin with. All engines go near up first. Oh, you're strong. She's done it. Oh, hmm. She's only just done it. Not sure why she's done that though. Can Thomas and friends near push one truck too? Yes, she can! Ooh, that was close. <laughs> she almost fell off! They're up to two trucks now. Can you do it? All engines go near has made it look easy. Can Thomas and friends near do it too? Yeah, I'm sure she can. Oh yes, perfectly done. Too easy! Can they push three trucks up the hill? Nah, no, doubt it. Oh wow, look at that! All engines go near did it! So, can Thomas and friends near do it too? I don't know. No, they're too heavy for her! You haven't pushed three trucks up the hill. Ooh, so the winner of the first round is the All Engines Go Near! So the overall score is now 0 1 to the All Engines Go team! Next round! Race time! Yep, it's race time again. The engines will start here, go around this bridge, past King Funding's palace, 
and whoever reaches King Ghost in the fastest time wins! It's Thomas versus Thomas, and the All Engines Go Thomas is up first. Ready, go! He's off. Good speed up the hill. Can he go down it just as fast? Hmm, he could have done that a bit faster. Final bend. He's approaching the palace. And... 22 seconds! Not bad, All Engines Go Thomas. Not bad. So, can Thomas and Friends Thomas beat that? Ready, go! He's off. He's looking quite quick. Down the slope fairly quickly too. He's doing well. Final bend. He's almost there. And... 19 seconds! That's 3 seconds faster than the other Thomas. Well done! Yes, well done. So the overall score is now 1-1. One, one. Final round. Truck push. In this round, an engine from both teams will try and push this truck at the same time. Whoever's the strongest will push it onto their opponent's side and will win. It's best 2 out of 3 and it's Thomas and Friends Percy versus All Engines Go Percy. Go number 1. Ready, go. Ooh, All Engines Go Percy was much stronger there, so you're 1-0 up. Thomas and Friends Percy needs to win this one, or the other team will win the whole competition. Ready, go. And he's doing it! Oh, no he's not. The All Engines Go Percy was much stronger again, so he wins this round. So the final overall score is 1-2 to the All Engines Go team. Well done you lot, you're today's strongest engine. Welcome to this Twin Train Competition! The winning Twin Trains will win this shiny trophy! The first twins we have are Donald and Douglas. Then we have I and Ari and Bert. Next we have Bill and Ben. And finally we have Splatter and Dodge. Wait a second, Splatter and Dodge aren't twins. We want to win the shiny trophy! <laughs> well, they are going to win. And we do need two more trains, so... Okay, so let's go to round one. In round one, the trains will need to knock down as many blocks of cargo as they can using any of these three tracks. Up first is Bill. Go! Bill has gone down the side track and has knocked over five cargo. Next is Ben. Go! Ben has gone down the middle and has knocked over eight cargo. Great bowl. So Bill and Ben finish on a total of 13 cargo. Donald up now. Go! He's chosen the outer track. Great score. Seven knocked down. Can Douglas do any better? Go! Yes, Douglas has knocked down 8, putting them in the lead with 15 points. Iron Ari is up next. Go! He's scored 8 points. If Iron Burke can knock down 8, they go into the lead. Go! Iron Burt knocked down 8, putting Iron Ari and Burt into the lead. Splatter now. Go! Good score from Splatter, but Dodge has also decided to go and knocked over one more. Judges? Well, they aren't supposed to go at the same time, but they have scored the lowest, so it doesn't matter. So, after the first round, Iron Ari and Bert get 4 points, Donald and Douglas gain 3, 
spill and then two, and splatter and dodge just the one. In round two, the trains will work together to try and push this truck the furthest. I and Ari and Bert to go first. That's an all right distance. Next is Splatter and Dodge. They've pushed it slightly further than Ari and Bert. Bill and Ben now. Not the furthest, but not the worst. Finally, it's Donald and Douglas. They've crashed, but pushed the truck the furthest. So they earn four points, while I and Ari and Bert earn one point. So after the first two rounds, Donald and Douglas are first on seven points, Ari and Bert are second on five, Bill and Ben and Splatter and Dodge are joined third on four points. The final round is a race. The trains will be coupled together and race around the loop and will try to finish as quickly as possible. First to go is Bill and Ben. Ready, go! Very speedy. Donald and Douglas now. Not as fast as Bill and Ben, 22 seconds. Splatter and Dodge next. Ready, go! Oh no, a shortcut. <laughs> oh no, it's a buffer. So Splatter and Dodge have been disqualified. Finally, it's I and Ari and Bert. If they beat Bill and Ben's time, they are joint winners with Donald and Douglas. Ready, go! Oh, so close! One second too slow. Here we are, the final scores. Splatter and Dodge finish fourth with five points. I and Ari and Bert and Bill and Ben are joint second with eight points. And the winners on nine points are Donald and Douglas. Thanks everyone for competing and thank you for watching.